was so mean to it. I mean, I, I didn't hurt it, but I was not very nice to it. I can remember me and my sister would tape his little paws, you know, and try to make him walk. It was the funniest thing. It's very mean, but it was funny. Then we put him in a pillowcase one time, and someone from the room was telling me he didn't die. I mean, he wasn't hurt or anything. But that cat lived for, golly, 15 years before my sister let it out, and it ran off, and they found it a couple weeks later. But um, not much. Like so all of my torture didn't kill it. It was the letting it out 15 years later. But um, my aunt has cats, and by cats I mean probably 10 cats in her house, which I just, that's crazy, <coughs> even to have that many dogs in your house. But you can walk into her house, walk up to her front door, and it smells like a litter box. It's horrible. It's disgusting. So we had a friend who gave me a cat here three months ago. It was a kitten, and they were going to put it to sleep or something. They didn't take it. So unfortunately, I took it. And we had it, and I left it out in the garage. I wouldn't let it come in the house. But I left it out in the garage. We have a heater out there, so it was OK. But um, we had it for quite a few months, probably about two and a half months, three months, long enough. And um, finally got rid of it and got it a new home the other day. And the girls keep sending me pictures, like, you know, like it was my kid or something. But she keeps sending me pictures. Here's what the cat's doing today. And, Here's how it's acting today, and anyway, it's a cute little thing, but I'm just not a cat person. They, they stink. They have a litter box, and it just, it just stinks to me. It's not, it's not anything to have around with kids, I don't think, unless you're really on it and don't let it get off on me. But, uh, I'm just not a cat person, I guess.